as constraints on the world's resources compound, utilizing current resources more efficiently along with cleaner production strategies become the center of promoting sustainable development in any economy, but particularly in developing and transition countries, says United Nations Industrial Development Organization during a special event held at UN headquarters on Monday. All the trends, all the global trends except one, and this is uh, sulfur dioxide emissions, all other trends are growing, 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 growing. And everybody knows that our planet is a closed system. We can't grow forever. It's not possible. But maybe we have to grow in a different way. While sustainable consumption patterns are crucial factors to sustainable development, equal attention should also be given to sustainability in our industrial production systems. It's also important in developing this framework that the needs of developing countries, emerging economies, and countries with economies in transition are addressed effectively. Building national capacities, promoting technology transfer, encouraging knowledge sharing and increasing access to financing mechanisms are also fundamental. According to UNIDO, many industries use way more material and energy than is required for production because companies continue to use obsolete and inefficient methods. UNIDO argues that incorporating more sustainable production and consumption patterns is vital for any country to advance improved human well-being and social equity without jeopardizing the environment and climate which is essentially the UN initiative of greening the economy. The UN SCAP, the, um, the Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific, has what we call a green growth initiative, which uh, again is tied up to the uh, whole discussion on the green economy that of course uh, UNEP and, and uh, the Secretary General um, is, uh, is advocating. Very often we see that groundwater pollution is affecting the people more directly and it has also groundwater, uh, the dropping of the groundwater, then also uh, hazardous waste, landfills, dumping sites, air pollution in the cities have a direct health impact on the people. Toxic chemicals uh, affect the people health more than at the moment the climate change which is in many cases still more a theoretical uh, issue. In the future the scarcity of the resources and also the assimilation and capacity of the ecosystem will clearly move the society towards resource productivity and I think this will be the key aspect for the future if we look at the developing countries or developed countries for to fulfill all the needs and the demands of the people that we can do it with less, more with less inputs, and it ha means we have to increase resource productivity. Monday's discussions helped to advance efforts on the most recent Commission on Sustainable Development, CSW19, and in stepping up international efforts towards sustainable consumption and production patterns. While renewing the political commitment that is needed for the Conference on Sustainable Development, Rio Plus 20, to be held next year, the event was co-organized by the UN Mission of the Philippines and the United United Nations Industrial Development Organization. Efforts to gain political consensus on green economy in the context of sustainable development will continue at the United Nations General Assembly on April 20th in preparations for the upcoming Rio 2012 Conference on Sustainable Development. Afaf Kanja for South South News, United Nations.